morning, privateers. Welcome to the Asian preview, North American wrap. <coughs> Summer is uh, coming to an abrupt end. School starts for my my crew tomorrow. And not too many happy campers. Anyhow, markets. What's moving on the open? Why don't we talk about dollar max? You can see here on the hourly chart, closed here at 1890. We got down to 1880. Um, some more positive news. Mexico and U.S. are likely hours away from an agreement on NAFTA, which would then uh, set in motion a negotiation between the U.S. and Canada. Just keep in mind it will be a... Um, it's not going to be, they're not going to be two separate bilateral agreements. Um, this will be NAFTA in just some different sh uh, way, shape, and form. Um, anyhow, so positive for the Mexican peso. Uh, dollar Canada hasn't really moved. Um, you're seeing a little bit of dollar weakness uh, across the board. Australian dollar up a bit. Uh, you know, that, that's had a nice 1.5% rally since uh, we got that new government on uh, last week. But let me hop over to, <clears throat> I want to look at some of the weekly charts. And my, my bullish uh, dollar thesis is, you know, I guess the charts could, uh, might be telling us something else. And I, I, I might have to, might have to take a step back and, and rethink um, my view, or, you know, going forward these next few weeks. Uh, <clears throat> here's dollar CAD, you know, two red weeks in a row. Um, you know, some of the, there are some interesting weekly patterns. So if you take a look at Australian dollar, um, we had this reversal week off that 72, the figure level, it's massive, massive support. When that breaks, um, it's going to go, and it's going to go. A lot lower. I think it'll be in the you know mid mid six sixties. Um, last week, kind of a kind of an indecisive week. If we look at euro, again we had that reversal higher week, and then a very strong last week after uh, after Powell's Jackson Hole, what market perceived as somewhat dovish. Cable. This is an interesting uh, interesting uh, candlestick pattern right here where you get the doji and then you get the big up week and you know we're expecting granted it did, it did end up closing kind of mid-range of the week but we expect that to, to trade higher as well Q dollar I think looked uh, there was a reversal week a lot of this is because of what China did last week and this is why you had the you, you had the big reversal week uh, two weeks ago, and then when they came out on Friday, and you know basically s stepped in. They don't they don't want to see a rapid weakening of the Chinese yuan, so they essentially stepped in and and put an end to that. Now, just keep that in mind when they when their currency rises or falls too quickly they can actually turn the tide and it has major, major global implications where, um, you know, when you see dollar China reverse off these highs up near seven, they're clearly protecting that area. They do not want to see it through seven anytime soon. You know, and this has been a parabolic run up since April. Um, this could kind of shift the whole, what I was saying earlier, like my dollar bull thesis may come into question because of what China is doing here, um, where they're selling dollar China, which means they have to go out and sell, um, yeah, they're selling dollar China, so then they, they recycle. Um, you know, you could, you could definitely argue that, you know, it's going to have an in, impact on the Australian dollar. Um, you know, it's just kind of broad dollar weakness. And, uh, you know, we're still looking at some of the other EMs. Looks like dollar turkey's down a little bit here on the open. 
again dollar max because of the NAFTA news. Um, we have a UK holiday on Monday today, so I expect the European session to be pretty quiet. I think the US session will be a complete snooze fest. So back in the saddle, we're getting we're getting, getting back into the swing of things. We're looking forward to the uh, kind of September through mid-December. We are cautiously optimistic that volatility is going to pick up because it's in the gutter right now in the currency space. And uh, I think there's going to be some really good opportunities going forward. So get ready. And uh, you'll hear from us on the European Open. All the best. Cheers.